Hey Boat Dragons, thanks so much for joining me. I'm so glad you're here. It is the time of the month where I do my monthly update. And if you watched my monthly updates before, you know how this works. I talk about all the books I read in August, and I talk about my plans for September, and then we're going to get into some highlights and things like that. So if you're down for that, I'm ready to give you that update. So here we go. I am going to put on my eyes just in case I need to look at some notes. I've got my, my, my trusty cat Ari here with me. She is uh, all ready to go as well, I think, unless she decides to jump down, which she's known to do. You know, she gets bored after a while, right? <laughs> all right, so let's get August out of the way first. And August was kind of a mixed bag for me. <laughs> I had some really good reads, and I had a couple of temporary DNFs. So we're going to talk about that. Uh, the first book I want to mention is Recursion by Blake Crouch. This was an absolute banger for me, guys. I thoroughly enjoyed my second Blake Crouch read. And if you guys have not read any Blake Crouch, you are missing out. I would definitely start with Dark Matter and then go to Recursion, but they're standalone. So you can read them in any order. Recursion is a great place to start as well. So I loved it. I do have a review on it. You can check that out if you want to. It's on the channel. I also read The Tainted Cup by Robert Jackson Bennett. And another banger for me, guys. I absolutely loved this book. I do have a review on the channel for this as well if you want to check it out. It's a very different book in a good way. So I labeled it as Botany Punk because there are plants all over this book and this story and it's, it's just this really fascinating, unique read. So I really hope you'll check it out. This definitely makes me want to read more of Robert Jackson Bennett. So more to come. The next book in this series comes out in April of next year, I believe. So you can bet that I'm going to be jumping on that bandwagon. The next book is The House in the Cerulean Sea. And you may be saying, Chaz, you already read that book. If you've watched my channel before, you know it's one of my favorites. And yes, I have read that book before. Oh, okay, there goes Ari. She's off on her own. <laughs> Uh, probably going to hit up my blinds here in a minute. This was a reread for me, but I did it on audiobook this time around. I decided it was a really good way for me to reread the book, and I was very happy with the audiobook. Absolutely adored it. I liked this book even better the second time around. It's just such a warm, cozy, heartwarming book. And I, I'm just so excited that I got to reread it. And there's a reason I reread it, and I'll get to that here in just a moment. So I did have a couple of DNFs, and I'm only DNFing them temporarily for now because they just weren't clicking for me. So I don't know if it's just I wasn't in the mood for them or if they're just not a book for me, I'm not sure yet. The first of those is The Child Thief by Braun. You can see I haven't taken my bookmark out of it yet. I've still got my bookmark in it. I still plan to come back to it for, for right now. But it, this was, it, it was okay. It wasn't bad so far. It just wasn't really gripping me. I did have a lot going on this month, so maybe I was getting a little burned out on reading. I don't know. It's a Peter Pan retelling, and I did not care that much for Peter Pan to begin with when I read it last year. And, and I know some of you are probably going, you didn't like Peter Pan? That's right, guys, I didn't like Peter Pan. And so I don't know if it's because it's Peter Pan that I'm just not clicking with it. I don't know, but I will go back and give it another shot at some point. I, I think that that's the plan right now. I could end up deciding to permanently Dan it. I, I don't know. But for right now, the plan is to go back to it at some point. The other book that I did that with was The Justice of Kings by Richard Swan. I got 43 pages into this, and I wasn't really feeling it. I, I kept kind of wanting to go back to it. 
and it's a fantasy mystery, it, it seems like, uh, as is the Tainted Cup, but I wasn't really feeling this one, so I picked up the Tainted Cup and absolutely enjoyed it, and this one just kind of wasn't calling to me anymore, but I have a feeling I might still enjoy it. So I'm going to postpone it till another month. And you know, normally with books I don't finish in one month, I'll carry it over to the next month. But September's pretty packed, so I'm not going to do that. And I, I'm really excited to talk about September now. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to set these over here. And, guys, I know I mentioned that I had a reason for rereading House in the Cerulean Sea, and that is because Somewhere Beyond the Sea, which is the sequel to House in the Cerulean Sea, is coming out on September 10th, and that is going to be one of the books that I am reading in September. I'm doing a buddy read on this one with Joe and Mary over at Book Buds, and we're all just super excited about this book. I, I just... Oh my goodness, guys, if it's anywhere near as good, even half as good as House in the Cerulean Sea, I'm really in for a treat. So stay tuned for more on that, but that is one of the books I am reading in September. And September is actually turning out to be the month of buddy reads, <laughs> because I am also buddy reading Vengeful by V.E. Schwab, this is the second book in her Villains trilogy, or at least I think it's going to be a trilogy. I think I heard the third book is called Victorious. Uh, I could be wrong, but I am buddy reading this book with Gareth from Books, Songs, and Other Magic and Dave over at Book Blather. So, uh, Dave and Olive, actually. I can't leave out Olive. She's going to read it with us, too. <laughs> His dog is adorable. Oh, my goodness. Olive's great. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're going to be buddy reading this together in September, and I think this is going to be my first book of the month, because Somewhere Beyond the Sea doesn't come out until the 10th, and uh, I have another buddy read as well, and that is going to be Not Till We Are Lost by Dennis E. Taylor. This is the fifth book in the Bobiverse series, and guys, I am so excited for this book. I can't wait to see where he takes this universe, and I'm going to be buddy reading this one as well. See, I told you, buddy reads, guys. I'm going to be buddy reading this one with Carl over at Geek on My Sleeve. So I'm just incredibly excited to read that book, and I have a feeling it's going to be a lot of fun. The other Bob books were really, really good. Uh, book four was a little bit less good than the first three, but it was still really good. So I'm excited for that. And then the final book that I'm planning to read in September is The Murder of Roger Ackroyd by Agatha Christie. And I am buddy reading this one, guys. That, that's right. I am buddy reading this with my good friend Mona Lisa over at Mona Lisa Reads. And we've been working our way through Agatha Christie's Poirot Library. And I'm really excited. Murder of Roger Ackroyd has been a book that I've wanted to read for a long time. I may have read it when I was a kid, borrowed it from my grandmother, but I don't remember it. Some of the Agatha Christie books I did and some I didn't. So I'm not sure if I did that one or not, because that was too many years ago and I don't have a good memory of it. So, <laughs> But I'm, I'm really excited to read The Murder of Roger Ackroyd, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Now, you may be wondering, Chaz, what about your Stein of Power? Yeah, I'm not doing my Stein of Power this month, guys. I did three books for my Stein of Power in August, and look where that got me. <laughs> no, it's not the Stein of Power's fault. It's just I've got two physical books for September already. I've got Vengeful, and then Somewhere Beyond the Sea is going to be physical as well. So I, I figure I'm good with reading books from my physical library. So we're just... What are you doing, Ari? <laughs> are you coming out of the blinds? Okay, come here. You want to come over... All right, my audience is waiting to see you, cute girl. Um, anyway, so yeah, that is September, and that is why I am not... <laughs> oh, 
sorry. <laughs> yes, I know. I know. If Okay, I don't think my audience wants to see cat butt. Yeah, okay. I'm just going to leave this in, guys. I hope you're okay with that. I mean, you know, comic relief, right? Um, where was I? So, yes. No Stein and Power in September because I've got two physical books. And that is everything I'm planning to read for September. Now, you may have also been wondering, Chaz, whatever happened to Chasm Friends? And guys, I will be revitalizing Chasm Friends in September. Life is finally getting less crazy for me and schedules winding down. So I think I'm going to be able to fit in a Chasm Friends episode in September. I'm coordinating with someone as we speak, but I don't have an announcement on that yet. So stay tuned. I will be getting Chasm Friends back up and running with another guest this month. So that's exciting. And it actually is looking to be a Chasm Friends remix episode. So I will be having a former guest back on the channel. And I'm super excited about that. So look for that. And now let's just kind of talk about some highlights from August. The first one is my son John going back to college. He went back to college for his junior year and... You know, Dad's kind of missing him a lot, but I'm I'm super excited for him. I'm really proud of him. And uh, so that, that was a long drive. I went to a city that's about two hours away from us. That's where he's going to college. And so uh, that's, that's where I started my reread of House in the Cerulean Sea. I was able to knock out four hours of the audiobook uh, driving back and forth to take him to college. So... Uh, that was a, a really great trip overall. I was super exhausted, but we made it. We got him settled in for another year, and uh, yeah, just kind of a roller coaster of a weekend that weekend. So I'm very glad that that part is done. Life is kind of getting back to normal, whatever normal is, right? Uh, you know, I, I've always said normal's highly overrated, so... You know, we're embracing the weird whenever it comes. <laughs> uh, some of the shows that I've been watching in August were a lot of fun. I did finish House of the Dragon, and guys, that was just an absolute masterpiece. I loved House of the Dragon. I thought the finale was awesome, and it really set it up for where we're going to go next in the next couple of seasons. I believe it's renewed for two more seasons, and that's going to complete that story. So I'm really excited about that. And I've seen some of the screenshots and everything from A Night of the Seven Kingdoms, which is going to be another HBO show that's in the works. And I'm really excited to see where that goes, because that was a really great book. I enjoyed that book as well, so I, I just can't wait. I'm super excited for everything Westeros, and now if we can just get book six, George. Come on, man. I'm eagerly waiting. <laughs> um, and then we continued watching a show called Warrior. Now, this is a show that I had started a few months back and never really went back to it, but I finally started continuing the series. And if you're not familiar with Warrior... It is based on a story created by Bruce Lee. But at the time that he came up with the idea, the studios were not cool with an Asian cast because he wanted certain characters in the show to be Asian. And the studio was not having it. And so instead, they took the story and adapted it into what you may be familiar with as Kung Fu with David Carradine. That's because they were able to cast a white actor, which when I heard that story, I was absolutely appalled. I'm like, I mean, I know Kung Fu was a somewhat popular show back in the day, but now that I know the background on that, I'm like, that's just really cruddy. And so now the show Warrior is based on the original idea by Bruce Lee. His daughter Shannon Lee is the producer on it. It started out on Cinemax, I believe, and then it got canceled. There's three seasons available on Netflix. I don't know if there is going to be a fourth season, 
but we've got three seasons, and guys, it is so good. It's bloody violent. <laughs> it's very sexy, you know, so it's a, it's a very adult show. So just be advised if that's not your cup of tea or if you've got kids around, you probably want to wait till they're in bed. But it is such an awesome show. I just absolutely love it so far. And it's it really cool to see something from the creative mind of Bruce Lee, who is hailed as a master of martial arts cinema. So I, I'm just, I'm eating it up. It's a great show. So make sure you check it out if you're interested. And then I had my YouTube anniversary on August 11th. I did a three hour live stream. Yes, it ended up being three hours, guys. But uh, it, it was super fun. I just had random guests pop in and that was such a blast. So uh, thank you to everyone who joined me for that live stream. And if you want to watch the live stream, go ahead and check it out. It is on my channel. You can find it in the live section. And that was pretty much everything that happened in August. Uh, not a whole lot to report, but I did have a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, it, it's been interesting. You know, I, I was officially moved into my new place as of August 1st. And so, you know, that's just been a bit of getting adjusted, getting things unboxed, um, m uh, making sure the cats don't kill each other because there is another cat in the household now. And Ari is not quite used to having another cat around. You know, she's an older cat and she's kind of set in her ways and she wants to establish her authority and I don't think Hank is having it. So, um, but you know, time will tell. I'm, I'm sure they'll learn to get along. So, um, it, it's been an interesting month and a fun month and I'm really happy with how things turned out overall. Uh, let me know in the comments below, how was August for you? Was it a productive month reading wise? Uh, let me know some shows you watch, other fun things you did. I would love to find that out. And until next time, guys, make sure you're reading more books, and I will talk to you very soon. Take care. And I want to say thank you to all of my patrons. I really appreciate all the support you give my channel.